Okay, so good morning and good evening, guys, and uh, welcome back in today's class. So, in yesterday class, we discussed and we saw about the tool navigation, applications, modules, and other things. Let's continue that part, and we'll pick up some more navigation stuff in today's discussion as well. Okay, let me share my screen. So yesterday we discussed about this complete menu bar here and the profile setting. Now if I, I come on these two or three points and then we go on the form level as well. OK, let me let me correct this first. This dashboard is taking a lot of time to be load. So I'll go and remove the preferences here. Use the default. OK, good. So now in service now. What mechanism we have? OK. If you want to do a search. Across the database. Including anything, any word, any ticket, any name, anything I want, I'm saying. Then we use the word called the global. Global search. This is a question came in the CSA examination. And generally I, I put in my in my recording classes as well that what is the technique? What is the technique service now use in the global search? When I say technique, it can be technique, it can be method, it can be methodology, it can be algorithm, it can be anything. What technique they use in the global search? So this is the question for you. And believe me, this question come in the CSA examination as well. So don't think that it is not required. It is good to be know that which technique has been used by service now in the Global search. Now the thing is that. Let's say I want to know about the word test. And enter it. What it will do this word go in the database. And will and will go when I say database means it is not only the I'm talking about the transactional or the foundation data. No, I am talking about the complete logics your business rule, your workflow, your email notification, your SLA, where this test word is there, it will bring me in this particular format. Even though let's say I want to be search with this particular. Let what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Let me see this week. If I want to open a record directly, C H G one, two, three, four, five, fifty eight or fifty nine like this. So like this. I can open the direct ticket number as well. The benefit is that it is be useful for the service desk agent. Like we guys say, hey, can you check this incident? He's not going in this format. Go all incident and open. No, they will put directly in this particular box and it will work for them. OK, so now if you see here, we have two options. A global search or search in the operation workspace. We we as, as a user. Still. Getting familiar with this service operation workspace. So as of now, by default, which we search, we search in the global. If you click on this, it will open in the let's say same thing CSG. Now it will open in the workspace. See. Because agent says that I am working in the workspace. Why should I open in the normal view or the global view? So this setting we can do. Now the question come Atul, can we restrict this global search? Means every time user will search only in this as a default. Yes, we can do. We can do 
via system properties. Even though if you notice, there are few companies on their website, you will not find any search option. Even though in service now, we can hide this option for the users. This is what our next topic will be system properties. So in short, if I say which technique, which method service no use here, they are using the technique called the Zing. Zing is a technique which service no use for the text indexing. And this question come in the number of time it comes in the CS examination. There is no other benefit other than searching in the global level. Complete. So like if I say, guys, I want to, can you find out one pen for me in my house? If you go, if you just start finding in every room, it is a global search. But when I say go and just check my table or my, my study table, that is a specific workspace search. In the both cases, they use the Zing as a technique. It says it's a text indexing technique. How it has been built, I have no idea. But this is what service now use. The next one, you can see a globe. It play a very, very vital role. So you see here, if I click on this globe, you can see two options, application scope and update set. Let's discuss, let's talk about the application scope. The scope of this training is only ServiceNow admin. This is a scope of my, my, my training. If tomorrow I start a, another batch and that is specific on the scripting, then the scope of that, that particular class or the particular batch will be scripting only. This is the concept which has been given by ServiceNow. In our ServiceNow instance, we have a lot of applications which are called the scoped application. Means it has been prepared in a bundle format which used by specific users and if you want to make any changes you have to be go for the scoping part let me let me give you another example when when i was in my my mca we have to be write the programs in the c c plus plus java so if i declare a variable on the top i say uh, or i say Okay, if I declare this on the top, it become a global variable for me. I can use this a here. I can use a here, a here. But if I'm writing a function, function sum, comma b, or let's say. Now, if I use x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, then it becomes a scoped one. You cannot use these two in outside. And if you make change in this, it will not impact anybody else. This is what the purpose service now give here. Now, now I tell you, as a business analyst, when we work, there are a lot of time we have to be think. If I make a change in this variable, if I make a change in this field, if I make a change in this table, is it going to be impact globally or it's a scoped application? Let's go here. 
this is global. We are we we will be using a global application scope for our training. But if you want to see, these are the scoped application. See. Even though change management is a scoped application. Model lending is a scoped application. Cab workbench is a scoped application. So I can say scoped, scoped, um, scoped application means something which has been created for a specific purpose only. And can be used if required. It maybe it is not used by everybody. But global is something which is be used by everyone. So in our in our house in the in the previous time in our house we have a landline phones. That are the global applications. And now we have our personal phone that is scoped application. If your phone is not working, it is not going to impact anybody in the house. But if the landline is not working, it's going to be impact everybody in the house. This is what the purpose of the application scoping. We will create a scoped application as well in our in our this thing. Practical part. Then go for the update set. Let's say I'm saying. Let's put it here like this. So in our IT industry, we have we work on the environments. We have a dev or I can say development. We have a test environment. We have a beta environment. We have a prod environment. Right? Let's say Rajesh build a logic. He write a business rule. In the dev environment. Now how he can move this business rule to the test. This business rule is for the 5000 lines. Now he can move. This 5000 line code to the next instance or the next environment. Maybe someone say Atul copy and paste. Oh my God. Let's say Rajesh work on BR. 10 client scripts. Catalog item. The um, glide records or glide fi um, this thing again. scripts and hundred UI policies. Now tell me what is the way that we can move the logic from one instance to the another instance? What do you think, Trevor? Uh, honestly, I don't know. OK, Rajesh. Namrata, what is what do you, what do I think that how this thing will work? See, it's it's a practical example I'm giving, right? That I want to move my changes from one instance to another instance. How I can do that part? OK, let me put a question in front of you now again, a different question. Let's say. Trevor is staying in a one bedroom flat. OK, one BHK flat. He's getting married and now he need to move to the two BHK flat. OK, or let's say he's staying in the two BHK flat. With his family, wife and kid. Now he's shifting in the three BHK room. Definitely he need to be. Packing everything and. Move the things to the new flat. Now he has a two options. Number one. He leave everything in the two BHK. And purchase everything. And. Purchase everything in the three BHK. When I say everything means everything. From a needle. Till air conditioner, O1, washing machine, everything. Which is not a feasible solution. Atul, come on. Other option, 
Boss, pack everything. Boxes and call to movers and packers and move the boxes. After this look, a feasible solution. All right, Trevor. This is this is a feasible solution. Yeah. Now this is what we are seeing in our service now as well. What we'll do when we when we start working on the table, we'll create a tables. Before that, we'll pick up a concept called the update set. In short, as of now, just understand update set is a container which contain all your logic. I'm I'm not saying data. Don't interchange these words. That update set is something or the data you want to move. No, never. I'm not saying about the data. I'm saying update set is a container which support a user to move the business the logic from one instance to the another instance. So in our case, these boxes are the update set. And your code, business rules, landscape, catalog, glide scripts, UI policy is your business logic, is your item in these boxes. Pick up one box, put in the new house. How to create, we will discuss. But as of now, we have to be understand this part. Okay, and every developer need to create his or her own update set. It's not like only one person will create. So like, let's say again the same example. Trevor is moving from, from one flat to the another flat with his family. And he will say to his wife, hey, please pack your own boxes. He will say to his kid, pack your own boxes, separate boxes. Don't put everything in my box. There are reasons. If you put everything in my box, if my box lost, everything lost. Generally, when, when we travel via flight, we never ever keep every cloth in a clothes in a in a one briefcase. We put the clothes in a separate, separate briefcase. In case it misplaced, in case it break down, in case it left somewhere. I should have something in my hand for the emergency time period. This is what the update said to. Clear everybody till this point, any doubt? Namrata, Pooja, Valentine, Ola. Any doubt, any question? Okay. Good to go then, I guess. Hmm. Good. Sure. We'll move forward now. Okay. <clears throat> so this thing has been done. So we will we'll create our update set. Now I'm giving you homework. And this is what again I'm saying question I'm picking up from the CS examination. What is not captured in the update set? Remember tomorrow is Friday. Class test can be happen. And this question can be asked. So get ready. Don't take a leap for tomorrow. OK, so what are not Captured in the update set. Namrata has a question in mind now. Atul, you are saying that you can move the business logic via update set. What about my foundation data? Pooja has a question. Atul, what do you mean by the word foundation data? 
in our in our industry in our service now we have a two type of data number 1 we have a foundation data and number 2 my transactional data i am not worried about much for the transactional data movement i am worried about more more about my foundation data movement see if you want to implement i, I tell you i appeared for one of the interview it's more than 4 5 months back that person asked me a question that atul tell me what are the steps you will follow to implement a tool i said talk to the business get agreement on the module implement the process then he says wow that's the wrong answer he again put the same question I said the same thing. Now, but I change a little bit. Talk to the business, get the agreement, and discuss about the process. In process, we have a fields, we have a value, we have a flow, we have a notifications. Now he is little bit happy. Do you know for for any process? what is the core what is important is your foundation data your foundation data help that how to build the process and here the foundation data means any data which belongs to user group your locations your departments your role your sls your email notifications even without this you cannot work you see if in this form i remove the category can you work on the process no from this if i remove the this data i am saying guys there is a field called a system admin but valentine asking me atul which value i should put shall i put a b c d no why because we don't know that what value should be come here let's say you you go in a sweet sweet shop okay and he has a sweets tray a different different items he put in the tray but he did not mention the name of that particular sweet will you able to understand that what is that sweet if you already had some then you know but is something new you cannot or you don't know this is what the foundation data is missing now i have a question namrata have a question in mind atul how we will move our foundation data in this case from dev to test i have 1 lakh record or 1 lakh user record in dev how i can move in the test why are date set no and i have one more question on the top of that number that tell me how you created this one lakh record in the dev instance did you create manually when i say manually means you go here all user new and fill details all user new click fill this thing atul come on are you mad we are the smart workers so these are the questions which we are going to be discuss in the upcoming days but i am giving you the giving a thought don't be confused with the foundation data now what is the transactional data transactional data is basically by using that tool by using that process by using that module the day to day records getting generated those are called the transactional data if you read any banking website if you read any any travel uh, website travel reports they says 
effect from the banking. They says this bank has one million transactional transactions in a month. What do you mean by the word transaction? People are sending money, receiving money, taking money, debit money, credit money, using the card without the payment, with payment, NT, NG, NGST. Sorry, I'm saying NGST. Basically, it's um, NFTs, RTGS, GPAs, VPAs. For everything, there is a transaction. Now I put another thought. These are the things I'm, I'm speaking from the practical experience, guys. Let's say same example. Trevor is in the Uber drop flat. OK. Now. He brings some. He go to the grocery shop. He brings some biscuits, some snacks, some pastries. Two or three days before he moving from that particular flat. OK. Do you think? And he opened that package and start eating it because it's a transactional letter. You cannot keep it for a long time. On the day of leaving from this house, he just have a two biscuits in a one pack. One pastry. And two small biscuits. OK, in a one pack. Do you think he will move this as well? He will not move these things in the in the new flat. He said, I'll, I'll purchase it again. Now the question come. Rajesh, Namrata and Pooja is running his their own company. OK, they have a stock exchange company and the stock company. Every day, approximately 5 lakh users or let's say 1 lakh user on their platform. Okay. When I say platform means they are using a tool called the X. OK, there is a tool called the X. Now, Ola, Trevor and Valentine go to this these three guys and say, guys, why don't you move to service now? OK. You can track your complete stock in a, in, a, in a quick. Clicks. That's fine. OK, element done that we are moving from X to service now. Rajesh says, tell me. I have some transactional data. Will you move that as well in service now? From my personal experience, I'm putting my personal experience. It is never ever recommended. To bring the foundation data from previous to the service now. It is never ever recommended because it is, it is not that much easy until unless you are using earlier as a service now tool and now you're moving to the new service now tool with a new customer. Then still it is easy. But if I say that I'm using a tool called X and I'm moving to service now, bring my transactional data, it is not recommended. The reasons maybe we'll discuss in upcoming days. But thoughts I'm putting. But the base question still remains same. How to move this one lakh user from dev to test? And for that, we will use the word or the term called the transform map. Or you can say not not actually transform map. You can say export import via XML. We have in-depth topic for this one. OK, let's come here. Everybody clear till this point or sleeping. Interesting, right? Go ahead, Rajesh. Two questions. <coughs> Good. One is. Where I can see 100% of foundation data and 100% of transaction data in service now. Second is looking at the data. Can we tell this is foundation data and this is transaction data? Yes, why not? I tell you. Let me come here. This is my foundation data. My users record. 
my table, my my location, my department, my group. There's a no single place. There's a see if you if you search in service now foundation data here, you will not find anything. But the data which support you to run your processes is called the foundation data. If I say, let's say I'm working or I'm running a company of the stock exchange. For me, the currencies are the foundation data. That is my foundation data. Now I come to the transactional data. This is my transactional data. Because today it is there, tomorrow it will not be there. But today my user is there, tomorrow also he will be there. If I remove his account, he cannot log into the he cannot log into the system. So incident change problem request. Even not knowledge article is not considered as a transaction data. Those are the foundation data because it is required to run the process. Your releases, your CMDB data is the foundation data. But these things are your transactional data. We never recommend to move this data from one instance to another instance. Because in the production, you're getting a new data as well. Then why you want to move the dummy data from dev to test to production? Clear, Ajish? Uh, yeah, so only only the foundation data would be moved from yes. dev to test to prod, yes. not transitional data. Transitional data. See, you are you are eating. Let's say you you are you are making a Maggie now. Okay, Maggie you can make tomorrow as well. Day after tomorrow as well because it's a transactional data. If you go to the grocery shop, you did not bring it for the years and years. You just bring for the next few days. Right? Okay, two packets milk, two packet biscuits, two Maggie. And your kids say, Dad, I want one more Maggie. No, no problem, no problem. We'll come next week and we'll purchase it again. Because that is a transactional. You came, you bring, eat, it's over. You go, bring, eat, it's over. But foundation data is your family members are your foundation data. They are with you today, they are with you tomorrow. If tomorrow your, your daughter or your son say, okay, dad, I'm going out outside. Maybe I can I can say for the higher studies. Maybe then you say I don't bring any 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 uh, this thing. Maggie now because the user who want to consume that transition letter is not there. But your daughter or son is consuming that in their place. So this is the foundation. The transitional data is it's it's a runtime things. If you do any, so what we are speaking with each other, it's a transactional data, but the knowledge which is giving going in your mind is a foundation data because with the help of that knowledge, you can talk to anybody in these terms. So, right? So exactly. Maybe you are putting the same question to me, but you will not put the same question to anybody else if someone gives the same lecture or same session to you. Good, Rajesh. Yeah, so so example in instant. So let's say we have uh, implemented instant management in mm -hmm. uh, so the configuration notification extra that we configure. So that that would be considered as uh, foundation data or transaction yes, data. Yes, that will be foundation data. Foundation data. Incident number is a transactional data. But what is coming in these fields? Let me show you. What is coming in this field? This, this, under this, these are my foundation data. Because if I did not put any value in the subcategory, how you will proceed further? Right? Hmm. Maybe I'll put test. It's a transactional data, but if I cannot put test here, because it's not a transactional, it's a foundation data. To run the process, I need a strong foundation data. That is the reason it is always recommended. Whenever you are implementing any tool, I'm not saying about service now, you are implementing any tool, always clean your data before you bring into the new tool. On Diwali, what we do? We do the cleaning of our house. 
we are removing some unnecessary foundation data as well. You take example, let's say in the two years back, your wife bring some some showpiece on the Diwali. It was working well. Now it is not that much good. What you will do? Let's clean up. You are cleaning your foundation data. Remember the terms garbage in garbage out. Lot of processes fail because of the not a good understanding or not a good existence of the foundation data. There's a there's a concept come in the CMDB that's called the three C's. Completeness, correctness and compliance. Let's say if if I create a form here. Let's say this attendance. OK, if in this attendance, if I start putting OK, bad, good. Can you understand what does this mean? No. Atul, what do you mean by bad? What do you mean by good? This means my foundation data is wrong. Or let's say if I'm a, I'm filling a form, it's a gender, and I say gender is graduate. Come on, is is is, is this the valid foundation data? Atul, graduate is the question is the qualification. Instead, of you put gender. Male, female, and transgender. That is a good foundation data. I'm I'm telling you more than tool implementation, data play a very, very, very critical role. I spent personally spent two to three months just to clean up the data and then reload into the service now. Go ahead, Rajesh. Yeah, I think this helps. Uh, uh, Atul. So what if someone has mistakenly bought garbage data from dev test to prod? Rework, rework. There's no, there's no technique. You have to be rework. There's no technique. Hmm. See. Someone bring. It is that someone responsibility that he should bring the correct data. If I'm that is I'm saying if you work on any implementation project in that implementation plan, it is specifically mentioned data migration and before data migration, it's a data check data cleanup. Means in your old system, guys, please check what you want. So I give you example. I worked for them work on a migration project. OK, so we onboarded approximately 100 customers on the service now. Before we start their UAT, they were in they were in the BMC, they were in the remedy tool, and they were coming on the service now. So in our project plan, we have a say. We will bring your user data, we will bring your CMDB data, but before that, you have to be clean your data. Now the question come. Let's say in the CMDB. Let's say in the CMDB. I have a hundred servers. OK. Take okay. I have a hundred servers. Now do you think when I'm moving from one tool to another tool, I need to bring these all hundred server records in my new tool? Maybe yes, maybe no. Then how you will evaluate this part? So generally what practice we do in this case, we says OK, do one thing, get a data of last one year. How many incident has been raised on the server? Let's say in the one year data, I found that total thousand incident has been raised. On the 80 unit server. It means these 80 are important for me. I can still leave the 20, 20 servers in my previous tool because there's no incident has been raised on that part. Maybe that is not important. Maybe those servers are decommissioned already, but in the system it is still showing as a live. So this cleanup activity has to be done. Also in this 80, now I have to be C. 
is that every field is correctly updated. Dates, patch dates, OS, everything has been done uh, updated complete correctly. If yes, then bring the data in the service now. Projects spend more than two, three months just to work on the data part. Because as you as I said, and as you also said the right thing, garbage in, garbage out. Normal shit in, shit out. If you missed out the cleanup in the beginning, you're going to pay a huge cost to maintain, to clean in the new tool. This is the reason that we always concentrate that no, we have to be go in a specific manner. We have to be clean up the data. If you don't clean up the data now, you will be gone. I give you the last example, then we proceed to the, our uh, topic further. Let's say when I was in a staying in as a bachelor with my friends in a in a flat, we do the house cleaning once in a week. Sometimes it's a twice in a week. Bachelors know this thing. Either it's a male or female. That's that doesn't matter here. Okay, so when anybody parents is coming, then we clean up the house every day. Washrooms, kitchen, floors, tiles, rooms, bed sheets, wardrobes, everything we start cleaning up. Why? Because we need to make sure that all the garbage should be out. I'm putting in the inverted commas the wine bottles, if someone smoked, the smoking birds. Everything will start cleaning up that things. This is the thing if you do on the daily basis at the last, you should not do in the full scale. But we say, OK, nobody's coming to my flat. When my parents will come, then I'll clean up my room. This is what is important. So these things you learn from the practice and the practical exposures. Because I work in a projects where we spend means I spend four or five hours of my daily. Call on this dis discuss on the data cleanup part. What value, which value, which field, what, what should become, what should not become. How to move, when to move, which is a dependency. You cannot move the user data in a, in a one go. Before user data, you need a location. It means location should go first. For the location, we need the country's code and countries on the place first. So do we have the right country? We have the right country code. So a lot of things are there. So if you if you search some some study or the use cases that is data migration play a vital role in the project implementation or the migration, it is yes. 60 70% time go in the format. See, service now say, guys, you want to use service now? No problem. I'm giving the out of the box. Go and use it. But a company failed to use because they don't have their foundation data on the place. In one of my previous project, they're using a tool. Okay. In that tool, they're using the 60 values in the category. Come on. Maybe Trevor, Trevor is working service now. Domain, Trevor sales tool, that's fine. But as a consultant, it's not fine. Why? Because how you will maintain that 60 records? Service now recommend the drop down value. This should not be more than 7 to 10. They never recommend if you're putting more than 10 values, it means you should use the reference field, not the drop down value. And when we implement that project for them, we converted their 60 values into the 20 or 15 values only. We remove all the garbage. I tell you that what, what happened? They're using like this manner. OK, there's a one value called the patch. There's a one value called the patches. Now tell me there's a one value called the release. One values release online. Come on. Cannot we replace these two words two category in a single one? This is what as a BA we have to be doing. So we sit with them. 
and i ask okay what is the difference between release and release online so there is no difference then why you have created two values maybe someone requested and someone created it come on this is this is what called the data cleanup so now we have one here and one here we remove this and we remove this now out of four we have come on the two so when we discuss all the 60 values one by one see as a ba we have to be ask what is the purpose of this value in the category field for you if business is able to justify then good not able to justify remove that value you maybe you have a question atul how you can remove simple logic if business don't know that what is the purpose of this value then how you come to know that what is the value of this this particular uh, category in the in that particular point that's fine remove it or run a report of the last one year and a half year that how many incident has been raised on the categories you will get top 5 10 20 categories use that as remove it remember when you are moving from one house to another house you will not take the garbage simple logic travel is staying in the two bed two bedroom house now he is he is moving to the three bedroom house he he bring the newspaper every day and now he has 365 newspaper in his old house do you think that he will move everything in the new house never because it's a garbage for him if he bring those 365 newspaper in the new house definitely he is not getting the dinner or the lunch for that particular day because his wife says come on it's a garbage you can purchase the new new newspaper from this house as well why are bringing the garbage to the new house okay clear till this point guys i know it's we are going in the uh, very different tangent now rajesh clear any doubt yeah yeah for now good let's proceed up <laughs> proceed further okay where were we ha so this thing so this is the difference of the update set and the scoping part and here if you need any help on the service now instance you can browse the product documentation generally if you want you can tie up any any knowledge article here but i never see these things and this is called the notification if you send any email or sorry if you, i'll send email is over one thing if you chat anyone well, there's there's a one option i'm not sure that it's not enabled now you can chat with the person from the service now instance as well earlier in the previous i guess uh, i may be in, in this property they have removed or they hide it there is a option called chat in this part so if you click on this i can talk to you in the service now itself it's not a it's not a virtual agent so don't be confused it's not a virtual agent it is something called the connect in something is there maybe that plugin need to be installed or maybe that need to be bring activate that um, uh, in the system property because company says we have a lot of ways to interact in my company i am using the teams in my company i am using the slack in my company i am using the skype so they did not prefer that part so service now maybe hide that that option in the screen level okay so this is all about our banner frame including global search properties and other things now the page you are able to see from here till here or i can say from here till here this is called the context men con, uh, content frame where you are actually able to see your records that is called the content frame okay now let discuss about something here if i go here and click on this open this format is called the list view remember these words because sooner we are going to be talking in the service now terms when i say the list view, you should know that what list view i am talking here this is called the list view 
Rajesh again has a question. Atul, how service now know that when I click on the open, I should open the list view. We will discuss when we go for the table level discussions. It is all configurable. Now let me show you something more. Map. Let me see if I have installed that. Map pages. Maybe I did not have location map. Let's see. No, I, oh, yeah, now see. Yep. Yeah. Come on. I click on this map option here. Location map and it open a map for me. Surprising. It's not a list view, it's a map view. And it's taking the things on the. Google map. These things. So now let's come back to here. So this is called the list view. OK, and these are called the columns. Which you want to see. If you want to update anything in this column, update means you want to change the sequence. Go here and check change the sequence. And it's a personalized column. I'm saying it means if I make a change in this list view, it is not going to impact anybody else. Now again, number has a question then. Atul, if we are saying personalized, then why service not giving us a default setting? And where we can make a change in the default setting. Hello. Uja, can you go on the mute, please? OK. So now Namrata has a valid point. Atul, when we when we open this and when I click on this page, it's showing me the list view. It's showing me the 10 columns. But I want for every user, it should show only eight columns. You are saying about the personalized view. I have a thousand users. It means I should tell thousand users that guys make it personalized. That's not fair, Atul. Namrata, try to find out the answer for this. From where I can go and make a change on the global level. It's a global change you're talking here. OK, so in case you want to modify personalized level, you can do it here. I can remove. Like this, I can add like this. I can add. There's a few options available in the down as well. Wrap the column text, compact rows, extreme highlights one. So this is see, it's highlighting the active one. Compact kar diya, rep, uh, word rep kar diya. Right? Now the another point. Atul, I want to sort out these things in a format. Right click and sort. The right click has a very big power here. Very powerful right click. You can sort A to Z, Z to A. You can bring them in a VTB, Visual Task Board. This is the topic which I deduced in the last batch, I guess, last to last batch only. And I pick up it from some, from some other agenda. Okay, so this is called the VTB. Because we human beings are in a habit now in drag and drop. You check your what you check your mobile phone. You just put a finger on your app and you are dragging dropping somewhere. This is what the VTB do. I can move from here to here. I can move. We will we will discuss this topic in depth as of uh, will depth in depth. But the only purpose is that from the list view you can make a visual task mode as well because list looks very boring. 
it's look good. Oh wow, it's need to be best moved like this. That's good, Atul. Drag and drop. This one. Okay, that's nice. Move it. It's giving me some errors. We will discuss when we go to for this topic. That why it's giving me error. Okay, now let's come back here. Open. Okay, so there's a lot of things which we cannot discuss in depth. Now let me show you one more thing here. You can make a chart as well. You can do the group by. I want to see the tickets group by as a state. Namrata is so smart. She says, Atul, come on. We can do a sorting as well. Yes, we can do a sorting. But in the sorting, you will not get the exact count of our records. But in the group by, you can get the count as well. You can do any anywhere on the caller as well. But can you do the group by? Oh my God, you can do the group on the short description as well. That's nice. Open by. No. Let me do ungroup first. Now let's try. Why there is a no group by for open date? Any idea? Or let me add one more field here. OK. Let put some brainstorming. What is the difference between opened and created field? Namrata, you are silent since morning. Tell me, are you are you well? Yes, Atul, I'm good. I'm okay. good. What is the difference between open and the created? So, so might be like open is when I open the ticket and open, I open the ticket. Yeah, open it is when I open it will show the timestamp when I open the ticket and created field is something like a um when the ticket is submitted or saved something like that oh my god might be because when i when i open the ticket and um and before what, saving what do you mean by the word open the ticket open the ticket is like uh like filling my name creating the ticket change change your terminologies your answer is correct your terminologies are wrong. OK. Ola, what do you think? What is the difference between open and created? Um, I mean, to my own knowledge, I would say um, probably open is like maybe first time. I like open something in. No, no, like no. Time stamp. no, Trevor. What do you think? What is open and what is scripted? Uh, I don't know. Open is one that you create. OK. And. Create is one that and. Everyone is also you create. Someone else. No, creates. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Valentine, what do you think? What is open and what is created? Um, open is when um, a request is put in, right? And uh, okay. And what is the created then? And create is when is a uh, when it's actually now an incident or it's been submitted. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, that's nice, Rajesh. So I think uh, um, uh, open is when you you open that incident. Uh, create is when 
it was created by system pooja any thought okay so let me give you the answer namrata your answer was correct okay correct in the sense of the intentions that okay atul opened means when i when a record get opened it's not record when you open any form for the record it can be incident it can be change it can be problem it can be request it can be knowledge it can be cmdp when you open the form okay no problem go ahead pooja okay when you open the form that is called the open date open time and when you click submit or save submit or save on the first instance that is called the created this is the difference so you are saying it's a record that's not the right word i was looking for the word form so create would always be a second time stamp yes then open. yes definitely few seconds gap definitely will be there so if if you go here you see there is a seconds gap right if you see here 621 1652 2145 2678 4328 there is a gap because it's it take time you open you let let's say on a single Because, form sorry what are you yeah sorry sorry so on on a single form if you need to put any value maybe a one dot it still take time for you to be click on the save so some minutes some seconds gap will be there it is not like open and save it's work together go ahead rajesh you put your, put your question yeah i was sorry i i was looking at the screen and i thought maybe it's opposite no 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 so this see open 214806 and created 284821 so this is a gap of the 15 seconds and you will not believe there are companies who run their sla on the opened as well not on the created there are why a customer is taking 5 minutes to submit a form it means either your form is complicated either the clicks are more on the form generally i i'll tell you the example i i work in the in the change management as of now okay so when we are bringing our customers on the service now you know the first when i when i go for the first uh, workshop with the customers what the question they ask atul tell me how much time in service now it will take to create a single change i said if you give me details i can create within the 2 or 3 minutes if i need to be create a dummy record i can create within less than uh, less than a minute then they then they say in our current system we take approximately 15 minutes to raise a change to just submit a change and when they start the uad they are taking 20 minutes 30 minutes to create a change and they start complaining it now tell me as a business analyst what you will do how you will convince to the customer they are raising a defect for this that i am taking it taking 20 minutes to raise a change record to to submit a change record now tell me how you will justify that it is not a defect because it's it's not wrong in the system it's wrong in the user practice and these are the cases these are the defects are very critical to be handled very tough to be handled because it's not it's not tool it's a mindset in their the the way they are thinking 
Then I told them, guys, I know you are in the UAT. You are using the service now first time. Once you get a progress, your time will be reduced up to 10 minutes or the 8 minutes or the less than that as well. If you are ready with the data, then you can copy paste and you can create the change. If you are writing the things, then definitely it is going to be take a time. Because you have to fill 5 or 10 or 20 fields on a change form before you submit this change for the for the next level. But these are the practical issues we, fight, we face. And it's not one or two defects, 30, 40 defects in a single day they raise it. I am taking 20 minutes and how they calculate? They put the stopwatch. They put the stopwatch and then they say, OK, let me see how much time it will take. And they came to me, Atul, you are saying it take only five minutes to raise a change. For me, it's a 28 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Then, then it's it's tough to be justified because it's a mindset. And this is what as a BA, as a consultant, we play a vital role here. To, to con not to convince, to change their mindset with the new tool. So generally what happened in, in these cases, not so that what, what happened to the, the today's topic, but this is what, what we see or I see in the practical part. We have to be changing their mindset. If you are able to change their mindset, you are succeed in your tool implementation. Then everybody will support you. Go ahead, number any question. So uh, if you are calculating yes, so it's better to um, work with created date, not with open date, right? This, this is this is what I also says okay. to my customer. They says no. I want to go for the created only, open only. But uh, to sometimes like um, if service desk is working and it will take time to gather information on the form side. So they will put information on form and after that it will be created. OK, I, I, I put one question to you. OK, mm. let's say you completed one training and I give the feedback form. OK, mm. in that feedback form, I have a 10 fields. Mm. Three drop down. Two checkboxes, two radio buttons, and two text. Hmm. Okay. You open the form and you take approximately 10 minutes to fill the details. Hmm. Okay. What is your what is your user experience now? It's good or bad? Come on, yeah. It's too lengthy feedback form, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of this, if I give you only a form which contains only two fields, hmm. how was experience? With a yes, good or bad? And one text box. Yeah. Now, what is your user experience? Very good. That would be good. Yeah. This is what this is what we calculate by open open time. I know there are the multiple reasons. I let yeah. let's say example. If you you are mother, you serve the food to your kid. Okay, and your kid take thirty minutes to complete that plate. <laughs> right? Why? Because yeah. Maybe he's eating and he start watching the TV in the meantime. He forget about the same. Same thing happened with us. I'm I'm raising a change. Suddenly my boss called me. Hey, come in the uh, meeting room. We want to discuss some plan now. My form is still open. I came back after half an hour. I click on the submit. This is a gap of 45 minutes open and created. Right? So that that customer has a policy. No, I want to be evaluated the SLA on the open only. So that okay. we can we can minimize the clicks on the form level. Correct. In the current scenario, it's not only response time or the um, uh, resolution time is important. Hmm. Companies are calculating XLS, X SLS, X stand for the customer level XLS, customer experience level XLS. You go and just. Type, I'm, I'm not sure it's the right word or not. Type this word XSLS or CXSLS. XSL or UXSLS. Okay, customer, yeah, customer experience. Oh, no. Yes, you came to that companies are calculating on this part. One of my friend ping me and say, hey, do you have any kind of a SLA for this? I says, come on, this is a new term I'm listening. Because they want to know. 
वन बटन वन क्लिक जॉब डन कस्टमर हैप्पी इंस्टेड ऑफ आस्किंग टेन फील्ड इज नॉट है राइट सो दीज आर दिंग्स बट बट इट्स learn this from the practical experience sometime okay let's come back to our our point and then we'll close it very quickly now i know it's it's getting late for you guys so this is what we have here now what is the homework for you guys okay try to explore other options like this xml ex export import will not work for you but try to do this pie chart and bars and also try to do something on this part as well a little bit we will discuss in depth tomorrow and tomorrow we'll close this topic okay any doubt any question before we close for today's call or i stop recording here guys rajesh valentine ola namrata driver i'm good at this point okay great 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 okay so let me stop our recording and take a quick attendance now